Hey guys, today we are next to Golf Mark 7 variant and I'm going to try to retrofit um, uh, footwell lights. I have a set from AliExpress, uh, four lights and the wiring harness and over here this uh, loop goes to the ground connection and this one is uh, connected to the um, BCM, the body control module. And I'm going to try to install it um, like a factory installation, two for the front, two for the back row. And uh, after that we are going to perform some coding changes so the car knows that uh, this is installed. And we will have footwell lights and hopefully also ambient illumination. Um, with adjustment from the infotainment unit. So to install this, I will have to, I will have to tear down some of the plastics, and the BCM module is on the driver's side. It's close to the close to the uh, side, so I will have to take out uh, some plastics also from the center console and remove a few things to um, guide the cable to the right side of the vehicle. And if there's enough time and uh, if I have the correct tools, I will also guide cables to the um, uh, seats uh, because the um, back row illumination is uh, installed under the, under the seat. There's a hole over here, somewhere over here that you need to push the light in, but you have to guide the cables first. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, so I removed a couple of parts and right now I have some access to the BCM. BCM is located over here. Uh, there are three main plugs, one here, one here, one here. And the BCM can be accessed from underneath. Here it is but i need only to access the uh, plug number plug c so i believe i don't have to remove the bcm as long as i can disconnect this from the control module so let's try it maybe from from here you can see that there's the there's the connector that white thing that you need to pull in order to release the connector you see it from here? This is connector A, connector B, and there's connector C somewhere over here. Okay. And it's disconnected. It looks like this. It has a lot of pins, 72 I believe, and we need to add we need to add this terminal to the 17, 17 second terminal. So let's uh, let's open this uh, open this connector, release it, release the safety pins, and install the uh, the new part. And now the black cover is holding my two clips with a thin screwdriver. I should be able to release it. Here it 
goes. Okay. Okay, so this whole connector goes like this. And here is the pin 72. This is 73, this is the last one. And this is the empty one that you should connect to yeah, the football lights. So since we're looking for this pin, this terminal, it should be in the, uh, in the socket closer to you. And it should be this one. Okay, so let's connect to it. And that's it. Now let's assemble it back and let's check if it works after coding, of course. New zip tie. and in a few seconds we'll do the ground connection. But before, let's connect this socket C back to the BCM. Okay, connected. And for the ground connection, I will use this point, which I previously used for the uh, 12 volt to 5 volt converter, which is powering my dash cam. But there's enough room um, underneath, so I can add a second loop for the ground connection. So the ground connection is ready, and I already have the light and cable through the mm, through the driver's side mounting point. So right now let's squeeze it in place, let's uh, cover those things up and let's uh, try coding and later on I will guide the cables to the other mounting points. I will have to divide this tutorial into two parts. The good thing is that the light on the driver's side is installed. All the coding is uh, correct right now. There is about 30 parameters that you need to check and change if uh, there's a need to, to make this work um, in your car. Some cars have most of the parameters set to the correct values, but uh, in my case, I had to adjust them all. You can uh, check the description below this video for all the parameters that you need to change in uh, BCM adaptation channels. And over here, when we go to car setup, lights scroll down to footwell light you can set it to max which is 100 percent and as you can see we have lights over here and when i open the door it gets even brighter to match the lights uh, the courtesy lights in the roof okay so when i close it it dims back to the setting set over here and i have full control full control from the infotainment uh, okay in the part two which will come uh, I don't know when I will show you how to guide the uh, wiring harness to the passenger side because right now as you can see there's dark over there I don't have it uh, uh, guided through the through the car to the other side I had time only to uh, install the uh, driver's side and tuck the cables somewhere under the dashboard um, just uh, to not damage them by mistake. Okay, give me thumbs up uh, if you like this tutorial and subscribe for future ones for the part two and my other tutorials about Volkswagen and other brands and uh, see you soon.